All right, hello and welcome to another episode of CMath Run. Today I've got some uh, exciting piece of software here. It's called the Casio Picture Converter Engine. I'm going to be uh, capturing some video. I'm going to be converting the video. I'm going to be creating a lesson, and then I'm going to be able to share the lesson and connect it with people out there, and eventually be able to connect it and share it with my students. So what I've done is I took a little video file here. I want to teach the mathematics of Angry Birds, a very addicting little game that that uh, I've discovered and has some really great mathematics attached to it. So what I did is I captured a video. I'm going to take it and drag it into my conversion engine. It wants to know if I want to restore the last session. I'll say no. Notice I've got my file here. I want to go the entire video. So all I did there was just drag, start and finish. I can press play and you can see what the video is. It's a little yellow bird, parabolic motion. Also there's a bit of a tangent there at the end. So I want I like this video. I want it to fill up the screen there. So I can click on individual screenshots there and now it is filling up the entire screen. I can click through and choose how many files there are. Right now there's 10. You can actually choose more or less files. So when I go into settings, for example, I can decide to, to change that. I won't. I'll leave it right there. So I'm just going to go ahead and convert this file. I can do some other tweaking of the file, but I just want to go ahead and convert it. So I want to be able to share this with my students and share it with uh, people I'm teaching this lesson to. So now what I'm going to do is bring that into my environment, into my calculator. I'm going to store that in my memory. The import. There it is. I'm storing that in my Casio folder. It's a flipbook file, so I'll store that in B. I'll go ahead and save. And I'm going to open this up in my picture plotter. There's a couple of things I want to do. I want to make sure that I graph the parabola of the yellow bird, and then I'm going to graph the tangent. When I launch that bird to accelerate, that's actually a tangent. It's going to take me a second here to go ahead and import that file. So you capture, you convert, you create a lesson, and then you connect and share. So right now I'm bringing that into my calculator. There we go. I'll press exit. Menu. Picture plotter. That's a, a picture that I took earlier today that I'll show quickly how I did that. Go to Options, File, I'm going to Open, open my Casio folder, open my B folder. I want that very first one. And there it is, it's a little blurry, but if I wanted to see what's going on, what kind of uh, math am I looking at here? This is on my emulator. So there goes the yellow bird, one, two, three, Four. Now there's a point at which he accelerated and became a tangent. There he is scoring some points. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to plot some points on this thing. I'll press AC to stop. Now again, this file was not on my prism until just now. You just saw me convert it literally on the spot. I have not done this before with this file, so it was very simple to use. Initial position of the bird is here. Second point. There are now the birds really taken off. There's another point. 
I'll use my shortcut key of 8 to get close to the top of the frame there. Here's another one. And I will plot one more point. I'm going to fit a parabolic curve on here. right there and then you notice there's a point at which he launched even faster that's actually a tangent so I'll be able to draw a tangent in there in a second but let's uh, press exit to get out of there and I've got my points I'm going to draw a regression equation which if you've seen one of my earlier videos you saw how to do that copy that draw it there it is. I'm going to define that graph so it's a little bit thicker. So I'm going to change the style of that line. Make it a nice thick blue line there. So there it is. I've got a second curve showing up there that I've got to get rid of. i got to get rid of that line. So I just want to deselect that. All right, now I'm going to draw the tangent at which, at the point at which this bird launched itself to go even faster, which was right there. Execute. Now there you have it. Mathematics of Angry Birds. This bird would have landed here, launched him here, so that he crashes into this set of barrels here and scores some major points. So again, this is some some great piece of technology here. I, what I've got is a conversion engine that allows me to convert my own pictures to do math from my own images. So what I'm going to do next is I'm just going to fade that image away. So that we can concentrate more on the math and less on the birds. Let's go with 25%. So there you have it. All right, let's convert one more just to show you how easy it is to convert a picture. I'll open up my file folder again. Here's my picture of the laundry basket dragging and dropping. So I've captured. I'm converting. Auto convert. I won't auto convert because I want to turn this picture. There it is. I want to fill the screen. I want to move it. I want to put in axes. I'm going to put an axes down here. You know what? I'll put it here because it looks more like an absolute value. Put it right on three. Now when I press convert, it converts it, puts it in the original location of the original file. I'm going to come back over here. I'm going to import it. Importing it into my calculator. Now this is only going to work on my emulator. If I want to share this with my class, if I want to put this on my own handheld, there's one extra step, which is my connect and share. It says there's already one in there, but that's okay. I'll overwrite it. So now let's say I'm te teaching a lesson on absolute value or the intersection of equations. Again, I can go into picture plotter. I don't have to go into picture plotter. This time let's go into graph. I'll bring this into the graph menu and put it in as a background. Again, this image was not on my calculator. It was not something that came with it. So I'm going to go with an absolute value equation. So let's go with the absolute value of the 
Uh, let's go with AX plus B Well, let's make that a B. And I'll put one more variable out there. We'll put C on the outside, alpha C. And then we'll go ahead and draw. So there it is right there, but I want to be able to make this a modifiable since I want to be able to teach the changes in each one of those variables. So right now I'm changing the slope of that line. I want to make this a steeper. Oh, went a little too far. Now let's change its position one way or the other. I want to go over a little more, over more. And then I want to go down. And I want to make that a little bit wider, so I'm going to go in steps of 0.2. And then when I go back up to A, I will alter A. Oops. So there you have it. You start creating equations, you start creating functions. Now I'm using everyday math that I see around me to actually teach math. Now let's say I wanted to share this with my students or my handheld. After I've captured, I've converted, I've created, now it's time for me to connect and share. The only way I can connect and share with my handheld is to send it to the lesson library. So if I go to CasioEducation.com lesson underscore library, you can go ahead and send it there. They will convert it to a file that I can put on a handheld for obvious reasons. I don't want my students to be able to put their own pictures on there. They will look it over, make sure it meets all their requirements, the legal requirements, and send it right back so that I can share it with my students. So then I can have an image or file like Angry Birds on my students calculator. Now it's not actually the actual game but they can do some mathematics of Angry Birds and the physics of Angry Birds which is another exciting topic. But uh, I'm very excited because this is a brand new piece of technology and I get to show it off. So real simple. You capture, you convert, you create, you connect and share. It's that simple. Uh, take care. That's this week's episode. Uh, I'll be having more on that later. Um, have a good day.